sand, trees, and a small Japanese military base. Miller's reconnaissance team landed there almost a week ago. Since then, we've heard nothing. The waiting's over. We're going in. For all we know, they're already dead. If what little we know about the Japanese is true, it might be better if they are. We're heading up an all-out assault on Peleliu Island. No POWs to rescue this time. Our mission, take the airfield and cripple their supply network. Alongside familiar faces, fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Old. We're not even out of our 20s. The Battle of Peleliu, codenamed Operation Stalemate the Second by the United States military, was fought between the U.S. and Japan during the Mariana and Palau campaign of World War II. From September to November 1944, on the island of Peleliu, by 1944, American victories in the Southwest and Central Pacific had brought the war closer to Japan, with American Bombers are able to strike at Jap the Japanese main islands from air bases secured during the Mariana Islands campaign. There was a disagreement among the U.S. Joint Chiefs over two proposed strategies to defeat the Japanese Empire. The strategy proposed by General Douglas MacArthur called for the recapture of the Philippines, followed by the capture of Okinawa then an attack on the Japanese mainland. Major General William Reputis, commander of the 1st Marine Division, predicted the island would be secure within four days. However, after being repeated Imperial Army defeats in previous island campaigns, Japan had developed new island defense tactics and well-crafted fortifications that allowed stiff resistance, extending the battle through more than two months. In the United States, this was a controversial battle because of the island's questionable strategic value and the high casualty rate, which exceeded that all of the other ambitious operations during the Pacific War. The, nation, the National Museum of the Marine Corps called it the bitterest battle of the war for the Marines. The 1st Marine Division had already been chosen to make the assault. President Franklin D. Roosevelt traveled to Pearl Harbor to personally meet both commanders and hear their arguments. MacArthur's strategy was chosen. However, before MacArthur could retake the Philippines, the Palau Islands, specifically Peleliu and Anguar, were, both, were to be neutralized and an airfield built to protect MacArthur's right flank. The battle was controversial in the United States due to the island's lack of strategic value and the high casualty rate. The defenders lacked the means to interfere with the potential U.S. operations in the Philippines, and the airfield captured on Peleliu never played a key role in the subsequent operations. The high casualty rate exceeded all other ambitious operations during the Pacific War. Okay, Corvette! 